Hello again everybody and welcome back to my channel and in today's video we're looking at another uh, request that somebody asked, another question somebody asked was um, about uh, getting from brown to blue and I, I did this in one of my colour routines and uh, being able to get from brown to blue could be quite, probably the most, it's the trickiest ball on, uh, on the table when clearing up and when we're clearing the colours it's quite a tricky one. So there's a couple of ways that we can play this. Um, that are the traditional ways of playing this. And that's normally when we've got sort of a, a half ball brown and we can play it to come on and off the cushion or we can play it to screw straight directly into it. And obviously ideally we want it to be staying this side of the, the blue. We don't want to be coming down to this side of the table, okay? And um, one of the ways we can uh, practice this is put that marker there um, okay, so we, we know what um, what we're looking to try and avoid. Now, when we're playing on and off the cushion, we don't really need to play it with any siren. We can sort of play it plain ball. Um, I like to play it a little bit, just, just above centre, so a couple of millimetres above centre. Okay. Hello again everybody, welcome back to my channel and in today's video um, it's, another, it's another request, another question that was asked in a, in a previous video about how demonstrating how to get from brown to blue when we're clearing the colours. Now brown to blue is one of the most difficult shots uh, when clearing the colours um, and it's a really, it's really important shot because it could be the difference again between top players making century breaks or not making century breaks. Uh, or it could be the difference of winning the frame or losing the frame. If you're, say, 20 behind and you've got 22 on the table with the brown, blue, pink, black on the spots, you need to be able to clear from brown, blue, to pink and black. And getting from brown to blue is probably the hardest shot in that sequence. The way we can do it is for, in a some more traditional sense, play on and off the cushion for the blue or we can screw directly into it. Now, the reason why we've got to be able to play both shots is we could have uh, a pink or a ball in that position, which is making the screw shot slightly more tricky, or we could have another ball close to the cushion, again, making that shot slightly tricky. We've also got to bear in mind, we don't want to be going too far. We want to be staying at this side of the blue. And then that's where pace, judgment, the constant practicing of it comes into place. Now traditionally we'd like to be like half ball on the brown, and if we're half ball on the brown, we can play both shots depending on how we feel. With this shot, with on and off the cushion, we don't really need to play it uh, with any sort of side or any spin or anything like that. We can play it almost centre ball striking, stunning, stunning shot. Okay. I like to aim a little bit higher up because it ends up hitting the white the cushion a little bit higher, risks the element of going in off. Let's have a go. So just above centre. Okay. So I will look at that again. Obviously, I am on the blue, I'm on the blue in the correct way, but I've left the white in quite a difficult position. Okay. So I set it up again. And let's play it again. So this time, I aim a little bit higher. So what I'm, when I'm aiming higher, it's pushing the ball through, through more, so it's going through more rather than stunning more. So again, same shot. As you can see then, I'm got higher up on the cushion. Okay. Now this comes into a pace issue okay so let's go again okay similar shot again but can you see 
what's really important is that you can see that I'm analysing each shot that I'm taking on. As you can see now, a little bit better, I'm more away from the cushion, okay, so I can do more with the blue from with the white from the blues. Okay, so it's that constantly checking uh, the shot that I'm playing, and it comes down to practicing it. Okay, so again, same position, but this time I'm going to be looking at going straight directly without the cushion. This is a shot that sort of I prefer, uh, but everybody's different. And again, it's more of a stun shot, but below centre. Okay, so there, again, taking the eye off the pot, talking on the shots doesn't help, but it's important to make those mistakes to go, right, what do I need to do next time? So again, going through, did I go through my routine? Probably not, so going through my routine, looking at the angle, standing behind the shot, walking in, spinning a few times, pausing, pulling back, okay. So on that one, I'd go, oh, I've got too much into it. So it's analysing it. Making that judgement, right, so I need to aim a bit higher up this time. Okay. So a little bit higher up on the wide. As you can see there, I've got a more desired cue ball. Do it once more. Okay. Again, so on this shot as well, sometimes I like to play with a little bit of running side, um, a bit of running so it sort of widens the angle of the shot, but that's more advanced. Ideally, we sort of be playing this uh, centre ball, shoot ball, and then more, much more accurately played. Okay, there are times, okay, in matches where. That's not the idea position we're in. So, nice and easy. If we're straight on the brown, it's a very straightforward shot. We've got to come on and off the cushion. Again, the most important bit here is not over screwing it. So, again, aiming below centre, towards the bottom, hand flat, head still, bend it a few times, pause, pull back, and then onto the blue, on off the cushion. Again, that's a judgment. So you've got, you've got to play that shot over and over again because that's through judgment. Um, and it's not something that, and every table plays differently, so you have to play it differently in every table. Now I've got another shot that we might end up on the balloon where we've got to come on and off the ball cushion. Okay, so there's two ways of playing this. Okay, we can play to come off the cushion and down here. Again, we don't want to under hit it, we don't want to over hit it. Practicing, practicing, practicing for that pace, or we can come off this cushion and down this side of the table. So let's have a go. So this side of the table, really, it's just top of the ball and moving it through. Okay. Obviously, there, I've not got enough top on him because the spin's not taking effect. So again, set the set the, the shot up again, making sure that. I'm aiming where I want to aim. Bridge high. Aim in. Okay. So a little bit too hard that time, but as you can see, it tends to happen when we're practicing. We over hit one, we under hit the other, or vice versa. And the other way of playing this, and this one's something that uh, I like playing again, a bit of running side. So this time it would be right hand side. Again, still. Towards the top of the ball, okay, we're coming on and off the cushions. We'll be this side of the blue. Okay. And everybody prefers different sides, so different, different ways. Ideally, I'd set that up again. Because I was slightly too close to the cushion, so I'll set it up again. A little bit of stretching behind this. Okay. Keep it up. And it's not quite top of the ball. It's more closer to centre, but still high. Higher than centre, but not quite run through. Okay? Do it once more. This is 
you can see there, we've got to make the adjustments. Uh, I am on the balloon, and like I said, we can be on the book balloon into the corner pockets as well. It's not too much of a concern because they should be relatively straightforward pots. But ideally, we want to be on uh, corner pivot pockets. Hope this video helps. Thank you. Goodbye.